the nature-nurture debate and gender development. Nature can be defined as biological influences on behaviour, and nurture is environmental influences on behaviour. Both can be used to explain gender development. Nature particularly refers to what we are born with, our genes, hormones, nervous system and brain structure. Sometimes people get confused between nature and nurture. You can associate nature with biology and how biological structures such as genes and our hormones affect our behaviour. Nurture refers to how we are brought up, our environment, our family background, education, role models and culture. You can think of nurture as how we nurture baby, how we bring it up, and that's what nurture refers to, our experiences and how we are brought up. There's a debate in psychology over whether our behaviour is more influenced by our genes or our environment. The biological approach believes that gender behaviour is affected by nature. It says that our genes, hormones and brain structure affect gender development. For example, having XX chromosomes means that we are female and having XY chromosomes means that we are male. The learning approach argues that nurture leads to gender behaviour. It says that environmental influences such as parents, school, society, peers, TV and other models affect gender behaviour. Children can learn gender behaviour through operant conditioning, which is learning through consequences. Gender appropriate behaviour is rewarded and gender inappropriate behaviour is punished. For example, girls may be encouraged to play with dolls and boys with cars. If a boy plays with a doll, his father may ridicule him for it. Social learning theory can also be used to explain gender development. Social learning theory is learning through observing models. So children may learn gender behaviour through imitating gender appropriate behaviours in parents, peers and others. For example, a girl may observe her older sister baking a cake. She may see that her sister is praised for it and they may want to copy that gender appropriate behaviour herself. There are studies to support both the nature and nurture side of the debate. On the nature side of the debate, we have Money and Erhardt who found that girls who were exposed in the womb to male hormones were more tomboyish later in life. Another study that supports the nature side of the debate is the Diamond and Sigmundson case study of David Riemer. David Riemer was brought up as a girl due to his penis being damaged during a circumcision that went wrong when he was a baby. However, even though he was brought up as a girl, he decided that he had a more male identity. In contrast, there are studies to support the nurture side of the debate. The idea that experiences and our environment affect our behaviour. McCoby and Jacqueline reviewed over 1,500 studies of gender differences and concluded that gender roles are related to culture and stereotypes. For example, pink is for girls and blue is for boys. Bandura Ross and Ross's study also supports the nurture side of the debate. They found that children were more likely to copy aggressive behaviour to a Bobo doll after they'd observed same-sex role models. So this supports the idea that our environment and our experiences affect our gender behaviour.